Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna restore your Mac to factory settings. Now, I just wanna let you know that this is for newer Macs, this video. I do have a video showing you guys how to do this with older Macs where we would have to, back in the day, press Command R and then we would do that process. However, now it's a little bit different. So we won't be doing Command R in order to restore this back to factory settings like it was when it was brand new. So it's gonna erase everything from within the Mac, including photos, documents, Apple ID, everything from it. And we are gonna set it up with a new Apple ID. So let's get started. So the first thing you guys have to do is shut it down. So as long as it's fully shut down, we're just gonna hold on to this. So this button on the top right hand side, that's your power button or your fingerprint ID. So we're gonna press on that button. We're gonna hold on to that button. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna see continue holding for setup options. And that's exactly what we want. Now there's various ways that I'm gonna teach you how to do this. Cause there isn't just one way to actually do the whole formatting thing. Right now we're gonna see loading startup and this is the screen that we should see and what we want to see. So at this point I'm gonna turn off my lights so you guys can see this better. And we're gonna select this option where it says options. We're gonna select that. We're gonna select continue on. All right, then let this happen. It's just gonna load. Now remember we do need Wi-Fi or internet for this to happen. And there are several ways to go about this, but we're gonna do it the easy way, which is going up here on the top left-hand corner. We're gonna see where it says recovery assistant. So just click on the top left-hand side, it says recovery assistant. The second option will say erase Mac. So that's what we have to pick, erase Mac, our second option. From here, we're gonna see this. So just select erase Mac. Once we click on erase Mac, it's gonna give us this. It's gonna tell us, are you sure you want to erase your Mac? Yes, we do. It's gonna take out everything from here. So go ahead, erase Mac. And this is the way that we can bring it back to factory settings. Now it is very important on the top right hand corner, you guys will see a Wi-Fi signal up there. Just make sure you guys have internet connection, okay? If you're having problems with your Wi-Fi, just use an ethernet cable. Obviously for these newer Macs, you would need an adapter in order to hook up an ethernet cable from your router directly to your Mac. At this point, we should see a black screen. This is normal, an Apple logo. It's just gonna start back up. We're gonna see this loading bar. And after that, here we go, English. So finally, we can go ahead and start up again. So we can set it up. So we're gonna go to English. We're gonna activate our Mac. So we do need to select a Wi-Fi network, obviously. So again, on the top right-hand corner, you guys will see Wi-Fi. So let's just tap on our Wi-Fi. And then we're gonna select whichever Wi-Fi makes sense to you. And right now, by the way, we're activating our Mac. At this point, we're gonna select, yeah, this makes sense. Once we put in our password for our Wi-Fi, it's just gonna think and it's gonna go on with the activation. So at this point, it is asking us about this Apple ID that this Mac is tied to. However, let's say we don't wanna put the Apple ID, email and all that stuff. Let's just go into use device password. So let's go into the device's password and we're gonna enter that in. Once we enter that in, just press next and we're gonna go on with the next step. Obviously, if you guys know the Apple ID that I had from before, put it in. I mean, you should know anyways, because the previous owner did have to take out his Apple ID. But uh, anyways, we're just gonna right now put this in. We're gonna go run through the next steps. Again, if you bought this off somebody, you should be doing this restoration with them in front of you. So if uh, there's any passwords or anything, they're the ones that are gonna take it out. So right here it says your Mac is activated, perfect. So we're gonna exit to recovery utilities. So at this point in time, I wanna show you another way. So it will take us back here. What we can do, just to show you, we can always go to disk utility. It's another way to do this. Go into here. And then what you would usually do is just erase everything from here. However, in this case, we don't really have to do that. So we have internal, untitled, which is where it's usually called Mac OS, but um, it should be APFS, it's perfect. 
And from here, you, what you would do is choose erase, you would erase everything plus the data, and there you go. However, we kind of already did that. We erased everything from within it, so we just have to reinstall everything. But that's just another way to do this, and that's how we used to do this uh, with older Macs. Anyways, with Command R, we go go to this utility, erase everything, and then just reload everything. Anyways, at this point, what we have to do is just reinstall Mac OS. So go ahead and reinstall this. We're gonna continue on and just set up our Mac again. And we're gonna activate it with a new app ID. So let's go ahead, I agree. Do I have to agree to that? We have to select this. Now, I usually don't like to have this untitled. I like to have it as Mac OS HD or something like that. But in this case, we're just gonna leave it as is and we're gonna go ahead and continue on. And yes, generally you want this to be connected to some power source, so nothing happens to it. It does run faster anyways if you do that. But uh, in this case, we're just gonna continue on and then it's just gonna start this whole download process that it won't take long actually. It's gonna be pretty fast. It does say an hour down here below, but it does depend on your internet speed. So last time I did this, it only took 30 minutes for example. If my internet speed goes down today, then maybe it's gonna take that hour and 22 minutes. After it's done actually downloading the whole thing, that's why it's taking so long, then we're gonna to need to activate everything, just set it up with our new app ID and all that stuff. All right, so just after about an hour or so, really depends, uh, you're gonna see this. You're just gonna see your Mac restart Apple logo and Apple logo with a loading bar, and then we just have to wait for it to load. All right, so just after that loading, it's just gonna restart, we're gonna see this. And that's it, we're done actually. Right now we can go on with the setup. So we can select the country, everything, and it's back to factory settings. If you'd like to sell this Mac at this point, if that's why you're doing this or watching this video, then just hold on and force shut it down. So that's right here, you can hold on to it until it just shuts down, or you can set it up right now. And yes, you could actually set it up without an Apple ID if you guys want to, but uh, yeah. So go ahead and set it up again if that's what you want to do. We're gonna go ahead not now and so on and keep going with the setup. However, like I mentioned, you don't have to, you can just shut it down at this point in time just by holding this power button. So that's not just for your fingerprint, but the actual power button, you hold on to it until this shuts down, you will see a black screen. That would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.